Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Thomas with Mr. Fix All Home and Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. I wanted to show you this. This is a little bit more technical stuff for you guys who want to get into industrial painting, commercial painting. Okay, what I've got here is a thermometer, literally on the gray steel. See, this is what I'm about ready to paint up here. All this gray steel. Okay, and this is the girder system for the framework system for the staircase, okay? So you get the idea. Now, I told you in another video that I gotta have the surface temperature at 50 degrees. Well, there it is, 50 degrees. Okay. Wanted to show you that important information. Now, I'm painting with industrial enamel, okay? Now this is a very, very good, high-quality, protective uh, marine coating, okay? Now, you can see the results. I've already started my second coat along this beam. And you can see how it's coming out. It's coming out pretty doggone nice. It's a little thick, a little goopy, but there's my first coat down there. You can see the patches in it. And then as you come up, you can start seeing it paint smooth out on the second run of the roller, okay? So, I got my thermometer attached right there. So I'm watching the temperature of the steel. And also, remember, hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Thomas from Mr. Fix All Home Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, you gotta remember, that you got to watch the temperature. When you paint with this stuff, anything below 50 degrees, you're going to have a problem because it's just not going to stick and it'll goop, okay? So, I also know that I'm in the shade. That's another concern. So, when I walk right over here, of course, I'm in the dead sun, as you can tell, all right? But, let's get back over in the shade. But when you're in the shade, the temperature drops at least 8 degrees, okay? Even 10, depending on your situation. And steel holds the cold, okay? you got to remember that. Cold steel holds, holds cold air, okay? It just stays cold to the touch. Uh, I think that's why I call it coal roll steel, okay? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I'm just guessing there. But anyway, now, this side of the staircase, as you can see, is pre-primered. All this steel is pre-primered. See it? Now, the paint's just blistering off. That's basically all that's happening over here. But then you get the areas where there's corrosion, and then this is corrosion. Okay, so what I'll do is hit that with a wire brush, and then you can see the corrosion. And the rest of the staircase is really not that bad of shape compared to the other side. And you see? There's some flaking and peeling. See all that right there? And I just, of course, hit that with a, a straight edge blade and just knock that off and then go to painting. But I wanted to show you this video because this is a little bit more technical. When I, when I know, I, in fact, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I know I've got to work all day today and get it in. The weather is going to be about 56 degrees around 2 o'clock, which is perfect. It's going to be sunshine all day today and tomorrow. So I need to paint and, and, and get going with this project because this is all I got left before I can collect my check is this staircase and that handrail over there. So two items and uh, this is a four day job by itself. So uh, I got two days I can knock this out hopefully or knock part of it out and, and, and at least have a big chunk of it done and then and next week maybe uh, get a couple more days and get this project completed and then and be done with it and, and, and get paid for it. So anyway, you guys have a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow and uh, enjoy yourselves and I'll be out here painting thinking about you. You know what to do, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on another clip.